So I'm excited about, um, uh, essentially this was taking data from across the UK leukaemia network where patients have been treated for paediatric acute lymphoblastic leukaemia and colleagues have collected um, data on the use of blinatumumab in that setting um, and demonstrated that it's a really effective bridge to transplant and um, particularly in infants um, who have been very heavily pre-treated so that's exciting information that's come out from our colleagues. Uh, it was reported by colleagues at Great Ormond Street but incorporated data contributed to by the entire UK leukaemia network. Um, so certainly we demonstrated with that data that um, that approach is very much less toxic than standard approaches through chemotherapy trying to get a patient to a stable platform for transplant and as I say particularly for infants where they can have very aggressive disease that's really important. So certainly we've demonstrated that um, it's a low, to low, low toxicity approach but one of the challenges is to follow these patients up and to understand what the outcomes are in terms of disease responses and durability.